What's up, guys? We're gonna chit chat, chit chat, 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 chat. chat. We're gonna have a little talk. I just wanted to get on here and just kind of tell you guys my feelings on things that have been happening lately. So, what made me shy away from YouTube? Whatnot did. It did. I first heard about Whatnot probably back in like the springtime. Yeah, it was the springtime for sure. And I'm like, I'm never gonna do that. Whatnot. Like, what the fuck? I'm not gonna do that. Live selling is so cringy. Like, I had that mentality, you know, that some people <laughs> still have. Um, so, yeah, so I didn't do it right away. And then I was like, you know what? what the fuck? I'm just going to try it. Don't knock it till you tried it. I truly believe, you know, you can have an opinion about something, but it's not validated unless you have experienced it. I don't know. What am I trying to say? I feel like I would better have an opinion. Exactly what I just said. I'd better have an opinion about it if I tried it as opposed to just knocking it and I knew nothing about it and whatever. So uh, June 22nd, I had my first show and I continued to do shows after that. And then I completely abandoned Poshmark and I was all in on whatnot, basically. And I've been all in on whatnot since then. So four months, four months in a week. So yeah, so that's what I've been doing. That's why I haven't been making YouTube videos. That's what's been happening. Over the past month, I have noticed that things have changed. So Poshmark now has live selling. I have done a couple of Posh shows too. I have a video kind of comparing the two. I am gonna do an updated one um, because I feel like I need to do an updated one, but I'll link that first one down below. Poshmark started doing live selling and I feel like ever since then things on whatnot have changed like some people will be like oh well the novelty wore off but it's just a, it's a weird coincidence that Poshmark has shows now and whatnot has kind of kind of gone to shit am I gonna say that no it hasn't gone to shit it's just definitely changed I'm gonna be honest with you guys I never give out like my numbers and shit but I am gonna tell you that in the time that I have been on whatnot I've made more money on whatnot than I made on Poshmark in a full year. So yeah, I made more in four months than I made on Poshmark in a year, which is crazy. Over the past like month or so, things have definitely changed. I have Lululemon shows every Saturday night. Those are my big shows. I make a lot of money during those shows. And the past two show, two or three, no, I think two shows have been kind of like, okay, something's up. Something's changed. Um, first off, people aren't spending money like they used to. The viewership is down. I used to have like 200 people in those shows. Now I'm hovering, like my last show, I consistently had like 100 people in the show. So yeah, things have definitely changed. I saw people talking about this. I'm like, oh no, Whatnot hasn't changed. Like I didn't want to believe it because I genuinely love Whatnot. I've made some amazing friends on there and I genuinely love that platform and I didn't want to admit that things have changed, but things have for sure changed. Um, you know, some people speculate like, oh, the novelty has worn off, uh, whatnot has way more sellers than buyers. So I don't know. I feel like it's, it's definitely a combination of multiple things and posh shows taking over now too. If you guys are sellers on whatnot, I am really curious to hear your opinion on what's going on, what's been happening lately. Um, definitely feel free to comment down below. But yeah, that's kind of where I'm at right now. I'm kind of like, what the fuck? What do I do? Posh shows still in the beta phase. So there are some things that they need to work on. The bundling feature is coming on October uh, 21st, I think it is. So just in like two weeks, that's two weeks, right? Yeah. Um, so yeah, in just about two weeks, which will be amazing. It is such a pain in the ass not being able to bundle on Poshmark. So when I do my Posh shows, I tell people, yes, I will bundle, but I have rules you know, you have to purchase your bundle like right after the show because I'm either going to ship things depending on when I do my show. I'm either going to ship things that day or the next morning. I don't want to sit around and wait for you to purchase your bundle. So after my Poshmark shows, I go in and I make bundles. Like I create new listings, like bundle listings for people that have purchased multiple things. And then it's like sitting around and waiting for them to purchase it. On one of my shows, somebody got pissed off at me because I had deleted her bundle listing that I created and I just sent the individual orders to her. Two days went by. I'm like, I'm not waiting two days for you to purchase your bundle. Like, no, sorry, that's not happening. You purchase these separately. You had the chance to purchase them in a bundle, save that money on shipping. You didn't do it. It literally took you two days to get back to me. I'll give you a little bit of time after my show, but I tell people, you gotta purchase it after the show. Again, that's super stressful. Um, so when bundle features come to Poshmark, that will be amazing for sure. Right now, I feel like my life is kind of a toss up between whatnot and Poshmark. 
Although I am doing more whatnot shows than Poshmark, but like today, for example, I got a box of inventory in the mail. I'm thinking to myself, like what platform am I gonna run this stuff on? Am I gonna do it on whatnot? Am I gonna do it on Poshmark? And I'm weighing the pros and cons. So that's stressful. I have seen a lot of people moving over from whatnot to Poshmark. Um, I could name like literally 10 people off the top of my head that were bigger sellers on whatnot and now they're on Poshmark. There has been some drama on whatnot recently. I guess there was, actually, I don't know if it was a seller or a buyer. No, I think it was a seller that was using um, like homophobic slurs on whatnot and whatnot didn't do anything about it. People got pissed off. People were you know, saying stuff on Instagram, which by the way, I just have to say this. If you're calling out someone that's homophobic, say their name. Like you're not, you're not doing anything by saying, oh, well, this person said something homophobic, but I'm not going to say their name. Like you're not, that doesn't accomplish anything. Your little rant on Instagram doesn't accomplish anything if you're not going to name the person, you know, like, and then people are like, oh, well, I don't want the drama. If you don't want the drama, then don't fucking talk about it to begin with. I feel like that causes more drama if you're like, oh, well, there's this person that's saying homophobic slurs, but I'm not going to say who they are. Like you're like calling them out, but you're kind of protecting them. It makes no fucking sense. So if it's drama that you're worried about, like just don't fucking talk about it to begin with. Sorry, I just had to talk about that. It's funny because a lot of people were like, I'm boycotting whatnot. And then literally a day later, they were on there doing their shows. They were in people's chats. It's like, really, really? There definitely has been drama on whatnot. The whole Nicole Snake issue. I do want to address this. Somebody commented and they're like, why is this video still up? She already paid. It's like, are you fucking stupid? Like, I'm not gonna call her out and be like, okay, she paid. Let's, let's delete the video. Let's erase from time that this ever happened. No, no, that shit's staying up. That shit is staying up. So people realize what a shady fucking piece of shit she is. Okay. Just had to address that as well. I don't know. I just wanted to get on here and just kind of tell you guys my thoughts on, uh, what's been going on lately. I really do like live selling. I really enjoy it. I love being in front of a camera talking to you guys and I love reselling. So the two together is literally perfect for me. All right, so that's all I wanted to say to you guys. Just kind of let you guys know where my head is. And I do miss you guys. I do miss making YouTube videos. A bunch of you guys have messaged me over the past like few months and been like, come back to YouTube. We miss you. I'm mad that whatnot is taking you away from us. I do miss making videos. I've literally been making videos for the last 16 years of my life. <laughs> like that's crazy. I will have more videos coming soon, I promise. But in the meantime, I'll link my Poshmark down below and my whatnot down below. You can check me out on there for live shows. And yeah, you guys should comment down below and let me know your thoughts. If you're a seller, if you're a buyer, what are you thinking? Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? What do you think? All right, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.